How's it going everybody? Zab here. Welcome to the third installment of these NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team updates. It's technically, what, the second week of NHL 16 though? And uh, this week I really wanted to, uh, you know, conquer some of these NHL collections. So me and a couple of buddies, Cole and Beamer, you probably know who they are by now if you watch any of my videos. And uh, we completed a bunch of collections together. Uh, we completed Carolina, Colorado, uh, the Edmonton, Florida, New Jersey, and I believe that is it. No, Vancouver and Winnipeg. So uh, a handful of collections there and a handful of packs. And I'm going to be releasing, you know, all those packs in different videos. In fact, Beamer and Cole both recorded them as well for me. So there's going to be a ton of pack opening videos and some pretty crazy polls, including some players that might be going over 450k. So... With that being said, there's going to be a little bit of a sneak peek on a couple of players that I've pulled. I pulled a couple pretty good players, one over 100k, and a couple right around 100k. So some really, really good players. So if you don't want anything to be spoiled, you know, close your ears, close your eyes, turn away now, exit out of the video. Um, but if not, we can just jump right into it. Not going to hide anything. The first line center is the biggest player I pulled this uh, this year so far, Jeff Carter, a technically an 89 overall. And as you guys know, if you pull an 86 like Palmanville, that's a really good pull. That's like 20k or something. So Jeff Carter, an 89 overall, absolutely fantastic. I slapped that captain card on him. Why not? Makes him a 91 overall center sniper. Uh, probably going to put him on the wing because he's not a great face-off guy. He's a right-handed guy, so I'd probably put him over on the left, drop Haglin down to the second and you know, drop everyone down from there. Uh, 92 for the skating, 92 for the shot, 93 for the hands. That's just the offense, and that's absolutely disgusting. 89 for the checking, 87 for the defense. Uh, I'm probably going to do a player review on Jeff Carter, but a quick little review on him right now. Just a couple of pros and cons. Uh, pretty big guy. He is six foot four, 212, so obviously not the fastest, but uh, he is surprisingly fast and speedy for his size. He's not fast and speedy compared to a guy like Haglin, but for his size, he moves around well. Uh, has a crazy accurate and hard shot. Hands, I haven't noticed anything ridiculous compared to a guy like Pominville or Haglin or Camillary. Nothing too crazy. Uh, he can definitely throw the body. Again, 6'4", 212, big frame. Uh, and defensively, I've noticed nothing spectacular, Just, but a really good card. Is he worth 130k? I'll answer that in the review, but uh, regardless, really good card. And I pulled him for, for nothing. <laughs> you know, I got him for free, so I'll take it. Pominville, I got for free. Haven't used him a lot. Haglin, a really good player. I pulled a Haglin, so I sold the one that I was using, and now I'm using the Free Haglin, Palat, Stahl, Camilleri, Johansson, Nielsen, Perron, Goudreau, Shifley, Ennis. So a pretty good team for, for, for second week, third week of Hut, right? Uh, defensively, Girardi and Oliver ekman Larson, who was a nasty pull. I pulled him in a collection pack, so I got him for free. Can't complain. He's been pretty decent. Giordano, some of you guys actually guessed him uh, in the last uh, Hut team update. I said I pulled an 87 overall lefty 2AD or something like that, and you guys guessed it. Yep, Giordano put him along. Another free pull. Brent Burns, they work well together. Jack Johnson and then Lovejoy, the only other two-way defenseman that I had that was a right D. The goaltender, as always, Austin Lotz, unboosted, still amazing. Best goalie I've used thus far. And the backup is Brian Elliott. So... Now we can go ahead, jump into the uh, into the stats. We are 22-4-1, not a bad little record. We're in Division 6, going for that Division 6 title. So far, every single division we've been in, we've got a nice little title from it. Uh, okay, so Carter, 6 points in 5 games. He has 4 goals in 5 games, which is pretty impressive. Definitely a sniper, without a doubt. 7 points in 6 games for Jordan Stahl, and he's on the second line. That was quite surprising. Uh, Nielsen, 11 points in 20 games. Not bad as a third liner. Shifley, 4 and 6. OEL, 3 and 5. You know, not bad. I wouldn't say he's worth the 80k or 85k um, that, you know, he was worth when I pulled him, but uh, like I said, I got him for free, so can't complain with that. Giordano, 2 and 7. Not the best player I've used, for sure. Sure, Haglin, I had a lot of points, but like I said, sold the one that was tradable, but the one that's untradable, one goal in one game, pretty good right there. Uh, anything else we really want to spotlight? Brent Burns, 15 and 20, not bad for a second liner. Pominville, 0 and 1, Camilleri, 1 and 1. Uh, anyone else that's surprising? Ennis has been surprising. He's on like, what, the third or fourth line? He's on the fourth line, four points in six games. Fourth liner? Not going to complain with that. Goaltender-wise, lots. 15-3, and 2.0 goals against average and an 89 save percentage. Comparing to an NHL guy who's an 85 overall, who has a 2.0 goals against average and an 83 save percentage and is 3-2. and two. 
that's pretty impressive. Lots is seriously a really good goaltender this year, uh, unboosted even. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this week's Hockey Ultimate Team update. Let me know how you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have opened up any uh, any of those collection packs. What have you pulled? Uh, regardless, what have you pulled in any packs? Uh, let me know how those special packs were. I know they came out uh, over the weekend. Let me know if you pulled anything in those. And uh, go ahead and subscribe for much, much more, guys. As always, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time. Pull my heart out of my chest, train my mind so I forget, sink your teeth into my bones.